Hello Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you at this time. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Action number 15. That's a good card. Whenever it comes out, I mean, something's going to obviously move forward, change. I get there was something important this last full moon. I don't know if you made a decision or someone you're dealing with has made some sort of decision. I see more movement happening in your life. What is going on for Capricorn? Nine of Cups. Yeah, something good is going to start moving forward, changing in your life. Something you've been waiting for. So this this is good change. It's not like something like the tower. I don't get I get it's, it's positive. So justice. Yeah, something you've been waiting for. Something is going to go in your favor. Okay. Strength. Interesting. And what is the potential outcome spirit? Oh, I got more than one. Okay, I feel like there's someone here who's not going to get what they want. I don't know why I'm feeling that with this two of cups under the deck. And there's you, Capricorn, who's going to get something. Something is going in your favor. I just feel like there's a, I, I hate to say it this way, but this is kind of how I feel. I feel like there's a winner and there is a loser. And I feel like, Capricorn, you are the winner in a situation. Something is coming together for you. Have, see, I feel the, t the tower, but I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like the change is a bad thing for you, this action card. Something's over, seeing something different, a tower energy needing to move, but the two of cups is what's here, the nine of cups. Okay, what is going on for Capricorn? What can you tell us, please? Wheel of Fortune, there you go, page of wands and ace of cups. See, there's some sort of movement act, like I said, it's either communication from someone you've been waiting for. Could be that someone is overseas, they're at a distance from you possibly. Knight of Cups is under there. I'm trying to feel if this is a new person you're meeting, Capricorn. I feel like it's a relationship that's been stalled for a while. What is this Justice card? Nine of Wands, the King of Swords. Okay, this is very specific. So this is either an air sign some of you are dealing with, maybe specifically a Libra. But I'm also getting some sort of like news coming from someone who might be like a lawyer or a judge, or an accountant, or someone with some sort of decision-making abilities. I feel like somebody's going to go in your favor. Again, I got that very strongly. So you could get news if you're dealing with, you know, some sort of litigation or something. Now, the reading looks more like love, honestly. But I'm picking up that there is movement in some sort of, like, court case. Or I'm hearing the word document, documents. I don't know what that means to somebody. Something's going to get sent to you. Maybe there's some paperwork you've been waiting for. Ten of Wands, the Temperance card, and the Four of Swords. See, this is how they view the situation or you. And this is like stuck energy, feeling weighed down. Things aren't going. Things aren't moving forward. Someone's always waiting, waiting. There could be two people. There could be someone coming towards you and someone else is getting rejected. I mean, this could even be a job, a partnership, something like that. What is the strength card? Wow. So I feel like whatever's going on for you, it even has taken a long time. It's like it was meant to teach you patience and, uh, and strength. But there may be a significant earth sign. I mean, again, you got justice in both decks coming out. It's like you've been waiting for this. This is, this is in the hidden position, Capricorn. And sometimes it can be also the challenge I have found and so again, if it's, you know, something that was going quick and then it stopped, it slowed down and now things are going to pick up again. I do feel like a lot of this has to do with divine timing. I feel like if you're dealing someone with someone who is either in a military or they're in a position of authority, something like that, their job, maybe you haven't spoken to them in a, in a little while, you are going to be receiving some communication from them. Page of Wands, the Lovers. Oh, the Five of Coins is in reverse. The Six of Coins and the Four of Wands. I'm seeing that someone's going to be giving you either some money. Um, they're they're going to be giving you some time. Like they're coming back to you. Uh, Six of Coins, Four of Wands could be money for housing. It's interesting because you're reading if it, it, the cards look like love. I mean, it really does. This is feels like a love situation, but yet the feelings I'm getting with this reading also have to do with like again, like a court case, money coming to you, something that you were owed or is supposed to be uh, met was meant for you, but it was put on hold. 
feels like like the COVID, the COVID slow, uh, everything slowed down because of COVID. Now all of a sudden it's picking back up. Things are moving forward. So, and I see you being very happy with this action, this movement forward. What is again? What is this Eight of Wands? Yeah, the Star card. So, if this King of Swords, if you don't really know who this is, it may be like a person who is delivering the message. Sometimes King of Swords shows me like a messenger. Um, he's not really involved in your life. You may never speak to him or her again, but they're going to bring you the information you need or give you that phone call or whatever. Seven of Wands. One more for this. Oh, hang on. I guess I'm going to do two more. Yeah, Five of Swords. I feel like you're also gathering information, Capricorn. Like Nine of Cups is under there. It's almost like you're going to get this information. It's almost like, well, wait, wait, wait. I want to know this and that. Is it? And you're going to find out the facts. Um, you're going to... Really, you know, it's good news. You mean you have nine of cups, nine of cups. So again, <sighs> let me pull from this deck too. Because it feels like it's a homecoming. It feels like someone is coming back into your life. It feels like they're giving you money. It feels like you're getting something, you know, for housing. Um, maybe this person is kind of tired though or something also. I don't know. They've been... It's hard to explain because it's almost like there's not a whole lot of love energy in your... Well, it's Cupid's energy, though. And Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. Oh, invitation, meeting. There's also hesitation. Maybe that is what I'm picking up because I'm getting something that is almost like it's hidden. The love is hidden, but then all of a sudden this person is there in front of you. It, but it also feels like this person isn't expressing how they feel. It's like they come home and it's a surprise to you. Like someone who's coming back from, you know, being gone for months or years in the military or are gone on some sort of trip or work or something they're coming back it's kind of what i feel but i don't feel like a whole lot of emotion in your reading usually i pick up on the emotions the feelings of someone it's like they're tired they need to go down they need to go lay down now so it could be that this is a surprise for somebody you just don't see this coming coffee cup but that means you're talking to someone that you do know meeting and conversing friendship feeling uplifted oh there's talking this card also came out talking and photograph talking about the past okay let me go to this deck this will give it insight okay obstacles fell out there are obstacles blocking this again this is where there is no action for quite a while and then the here and now under the deck is forgiveness so maybe forgiveness was needed in this situation but I'm getting like, this is now. Things are picking up now. There are too many obstacles that were blocking the situation before. It's all about divine timing. If this person wanted to say something to Capricorn, what would they say? I want to feel that way again. I can't stop thinking about you. I am not over you. And I don't want to let you go. Okay. I am going to repeat this, though, because I feel like for some of you, if this has to do with justice, something you're owed, something for housing, something like that, um, again, I do see this very clearly as being, for you guys, this may not be a love reading for some of you. This is more about getting um, information, like information you've wanted, information you've been waiting for, uh, something that was stalled things that just weren't moving forward. So take this reading as it resonates because it definitely, for some of you, I do get it's love, but others of you, I definitely get it's like money or a job or something that was owed to you or was, you know, blocked for a while. So I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Have a great week.